Today, we're looking at veteran entrepreneurship, very veteran entrepreneurship to be specific. I served for four years in the United States Marine Corps Infantry. After getting out, pursued a career in the fitness industry for some time, I was able to count reps for a number of folks for a few years. Just kidding. Training is certainly more than counting reps. Facilitating movement practice was a fulfilling experience and I enjoyed almost every moment of it. In fact, I learned a lot during my time as a trainer and I grew over the years into a co-founder of a gym and the fitness industry. You'll find really quickly that it's not so much about your knowledge of exercise science. In fact, it's about your ability to sell your knowledge of exercise science. And truthfully, to go even deeper than that, it's about your ability to solve the problem of your clients. Today, we're going to talk about military veteran entrepreneurship. And in this video, I'm going to break down some of what I've learned over the last decade in business, starting up businesses, failing and succeeding both sides of the coin. My hope is to accelerate your learning curve and ensure you have tactical tools and techniques to take away from this video and apply in the real world. So what may have taken several weeks and thousands of dollars previously will just take you an afternoon and can be done for free. So why military veteran entrepreneurship? Well, I served for four years in the United States Marine Corps infantry, two deployments to Afghanistan, and after the fact, ended up growing into management, a business owner, and I learned a lot of what I know today through trial and error, through experience. I've also had the opportunity to go through a few veteran entrepreneur training courses and startup accelerators, had some great mentors. So the knowledge that I've gained over the last decade surviving out here in the, the mean streets of the US of A, the lessons that I've learned during that time, my hope is that I'll translate those here. This video is specifically targeting other military veteran entrepreneurs, those who are aspiring to create their own business. Perhaps they already have a business, but they want to grow it. This video will apply to you as well. Some of the things I'm going to discuss will be directly translatable, whether you are prior service or not. I may end up making more videos like this just for entrepreneurs in the veteran community, uh, because as of recently, I have had a number of discussions through the Veterati platform. I've been able to connect with a lot of awesome guys and gals that, that are prior service members and uh, even some veteran spouses being a part of that community, I should say, has been really rewarding. Recently, I connected with a veteran spouse and she's actually been with her husband in the army for many years and is looking to build her own remote business right now. If you don't know, I've worked in professional services and consulting for the last three years, and I'll pull this up. So several years back when I was making the transition from my fitness career, we were feeling overwhelmed, frustrated, and even confused with what needed to be done to build a business correctly. Knowing what I know from my time in the Marine Corps, I said, listen, we need a map. We need a terrain model of our business. And uh, over the years, I've, I've shared this conversation with a number of clients and a number of veteran entrepreneur mentees. And I've shared that mapping out your business makes a lot of sense. There's a ton of complexity. It's a rapidly changing environment. The stakes are very high. In the military, we use a tool called a terrain model. This tool is used to mitigate risk, to align the team, to ensure we have a shared mental model of the operation ahead of us. They say that plans are ultimately useless. However, planning, the process of conducting the planning is invaluable, doing that exercise, because it creates a origin point in the mind that's very clear, very strong. And when we cross that threshold from idea to action, theory to practice, we are able to adapt from a known origin, from a very clear mental image. And that adaptability is indeed a different skill set, yet it benefits greatly from having gone through the planning exercise. All right, enough analogy. The Venture Map is a business terrain model. It is a format of representing the strategy, the acquisition, and the fulfillment of your business in one virtual environment. The good news is you can build all of this in Miro. Miro is a whiteboard tool. It's nothing fancy. It is literally a digital whiteboard. You can get a free account like that, kind of like Google Docs, except a whiteboard version. Next, 
Chat GPT, you do not need the plus version to use it. Now I'm going to walk you through how to get started. So three big pieces. So if you are searching veteran entrepreneurship and you want to connect, go through the Veterati platform. We can connect there for free. And uh, if you're a aspiring entrepreneur, you want to get going with the venture map, you can get a template for free through our website. Now there's a few key pieces we would like to call the strategic essentials. The first thing we're going to want to build is a master prompt. We're going to show you a couple questions to ask yourself to build that. But basically this is becomes the first domino in a series of dominoes to fall. If you have a master prompt, you can go to GPT, feed it this description of your business, and then say, build me a business model canvas, build me a value proposition canvas, a customer avatar, an anti-avatar, create offers, a brand script, et cetera. The list goes on and on. Now, again, this is for our strategy. The master prompt is like three to five questions. These are the simplest ones, the most impactful ones, high leverage questions we've been able to identify. What is your business idea or concept and what problem does it solve? Who are your target customers and what makes them unique? How does your business generate revenue? What sets you apart from competitors and what are your primary marketing channels and strategies? Answer these to the best of your ability. You don't need to be an academic. You don't need to be a pro. Just do your best to write it down. Next, you're going to want to take your answers, your template paragraph, and drop that in to chat GPT and basically say, here's my answers to these questions. I want you to give me a summary of my business using this format, and it will come back with a summary of the actual business. So in this case, we're looking at meal planning and such. You basically will have this paragraph and you can use that to deploy against the other strategic collateral. Now, this is a massive step forward for anyone that's gone through a startup accelerator or an incubator, veteran entrepreneurship training, vet to CEO type of thing. One of the first that they will usually have you do is produce one of these. If you've seen any of my other videos, you've seen me talk about this. This usually takes entrepreneurs quite some time to flush out. Even though the founders behind this say it should take a little bit of time, Alexander Osterwilder, the strategizer group, Steve Blank, they say it, it can be done relatively quickly. You need many of them, do it with post-it notes. It can be a major stopping force in my experience for entrepreneurs. Being able to have this done like that by ChatGPT and have a bunch of other complementary assets that tell the story of your business, such as these avatars, your offer, et cetera, that is a huge force multiplier. It builds momentum for the business and it really builds confidence. In fact, it's a lot easier to edit a draft than it is to start from scratch. Now, a lot of these are third-party IP. So brand script is made by De Donald Miller from StoryBrand. One-page marketing plan made by Alan Dibb from this book by the same title. There's a great framework on traffic strategy from a book called Traction, not the EOS book, but the other one. If you know that book, let me know in the comments. Alex Hormozzi has a beastly book on offers. Russell Brunson and Traffic Secrets talks about avatars. So there's a ton of pros in the world that talk about these things, but these are things that we build for our clients and our consulting practice. These are things that we build for ourselves to flesh out our strategy. Now, what used to take literal months to build and to iterate, to revise, to flesh out all of this, the lead generators, nurture campaigns, sales processes, funnel wireframes, all of this stuff, content calendars, this would take weeks. And in many cases, thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars to just get V1 for all of this in a very cohesive, integrated way, you can have all of this for free in an afternoon. It's unbelievable. That's what ChatGPT can deliver. Now, my wife said I should actually use GPT in this video. I'm out of time now. If you want to see me using GPT, I can go through how to prompt it 
There's no shortage of videos on prompt engineering, on advanced prompts, but certainly know how to leverage the tool to get desired outputs. If you want to see that, I'm happy to do it. it walk you through how to basically create a master prompt and then how to deploy that against challenges such as strategic deliverables. From there, once you have your plan down, then it's let's build out your acquisition pipeline. Let's flush out the funnel. Let's build out your web pages, your landing pages, your ad campaigns, all of that stuff. You can be 10 times faster. It's an exponential increase, it's an accelerant to the production of a strategy and to the deployment and testing of a strategy. The second challenge is what do you do with all that stuff? You're going to put it in Google Docs or Notion. For me, Miro is solid to host everything in. If you have a, a visual mindset, you're a visual learner, you like to see things, this is the best way to do it. That's all the time I've got for now. The takeaways for this video is you can use ChatGPT to create a master prompt for your business. This paragraph, this general summary that talks about what you're trying to accomplish. You just need to have an idea, ask yourself the right questions, give all of those questions, the answers and a template paragraph to GPT and say, I want you to act as a strategic consultant, as a co-founder that's had many successful exits prior to this. You can queue it up so it's in the right frame of mind. And you could say, I will provide you with information. You will provide me with outputs. If you need further information from me to get a higher quality output, I want you to ask the question first and then provide it reference material, put in your paragraph, and then say, based on this material, produce a example of a business model canvas for me or two different examples of a business model canvas variations are helpful. It'll give you that. If there's an issue, tell it, Hey, change this, change that, add this, add this, or you can just say what could be done to make this more improved. It'll ask you questions. Once you have something that you like, copy that data, paste it into notion, Google docs, a notes, mirror board. If your venture map is, is helpful because it manages complexity, having it integrated visually is a massive time saver. That's the methodology to employ and getting this done, getting it done right. You can get templates for all the tools I mentioned, business model canvas, value proposition canvas, one page marketing plan. Those are all on Google for free. Google images, their websites, they've got them as lead generator PDFs. Everything I've talked about that is third party IP is readily accessible through the owner's websites. That's all the time I got for now. If you have questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.